Welcome to History and Firearms. In this series, we will be running historic military surplus firearms through modern shooting drills. This is a fun way to experience how these firearms may have been used in a combat environment and some of the quirks that go along with them. It also provides some metrics that can be used to compare these firearms. To gain more insight into how these firearms might have been used, period correct ammunition pouches will be used as well. As in modern shooting standards, all these drills will start with the firearm unsafe. Today, we will be using the US rifle Caliber 30 M1, better known as the M1 Garand. Designed by John Garand, the M1 rifle was adopted by the U.S. in 1936 and was the first standard-issue semi-automatic rifle issued by the U.S. It would see service through World War II and the Korean War before being replaced. It did continue to see service beyond this in other countries as many were provided as foreign aid to U.S. allies. It weighs 9 pounds, 3 ounces, and is 43 and a half inches long. The M1 rifle is a gas-operated semi-automatic rifle and is chambered for the .30-06 cartridge. The rifle is loaded with M1 and block clips and this will be done from a US M1923 style cartridge belt. The first drill is going to be the Bear Solutions Shooting Standards drill. Typically this is five rounds on one rectangle, five rounds on the other rectangle, empty gun reload, and then three rounds in the circle in the center. For this Millsurp Operator video series, we're going to reduce the round count. We're going to do two on one rectangle, two on the other rectangle, empty gun reload, and one into the center circle. We're going to do this drill and these following drills, we're going to do all these at 10 yards. This drill is going to be what's called the quads drill from T-Rex Arms. Typically it's four rounds in one circle, empty gun reload, four rounds in the other circle. But for this, we're going to reduce the round count down to two rounds in one circle, empty gun reload, two rounds in the other circle. This is going to be the one reload three drill. Pulled this from Amy 556's website. It's going to be one round in the A zone on the target, empty gun reload, two rounds to the A zone, and then one round to the head. After running through these drills, here's what I found. With the sight set at 100 meters, the impacts were about an inch, inch and a half low at this distance. 
The safety location and operation is ergonomic and easy to manipulate with the firing grip. As mentioned in previous videos in the series, I prefer aperture sights, which the M1 has. That being said, even with the intuitive safety and preferred sights, the M1 ended up in the middle of the pack so far with the first round average. The semi-automatic action is obviously a large benefit over the bolt action rifles, and the M1 averaged about 3.5 seconds faster than the fastest bolt action in these drills. Another reason for the faster times is the loading using M-block clips. This is far easier than using stripper clips. The cartridge belt was easy to open, and getting the clips out was fairly easy making loading smooth. Through the drills, I did not run into any problems and they all went pretty smooth. Overall, the M1 is most definitely a fun and effective rifle to shoot. The advantages of the semi-auto and clip loading were demonstrated in the drill times. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. If you would like to see more of this content, please consider supporting the channel. A link to our Patreon page is in the description. If you want to show off your Milsub operator skills, follow History and Firearms on social media and tag us with hashtag Milsub operator. Links to all these drills and a shooting time comparison for all the videos in the series is in the description. For more information on this firearm and others, head on over to historyandfirearms.com.